My name is David Keel. I'm the uh, Chief Operating Officer of the National Science Center here in Augusta, Georgia. We are about 280,000 square feet of hands-on, mind-on science exhibits where our purpose, our mission, is to try to excite America's youth about math, science, and technology. We like to look at ourselves as being an extension of the classroom as opposed to a field trip, which a lot of science centers are. Here at the Science Center, we obviously have a lot of publications, which we do in various and sundry forms. Everything from a brochure, which we hand all of our visitors who come through the front door. We have a lot of publications, which we put out into local attractions, motels, and things like that, advertising our center. So we're publishing a lot of documents, and, and we're basically using a copier to do this, just a standard black and white copier. Started thinking about, uh, well, maybe we need to get away from just old standard black and white text or one pass through color and go to something like the HC 5000 to give us greater capabilities. Right now we're using the HC to print a lot of the same things we were printing on the old black and white machine, except we now have the capability of doing it in color, which we found to be much more attractive to our visitors. We had a quarterly newsletter which we were printing, and it was a 11 by 17 tabloid duplex, multi-page actually. And then due to cost constraints, we finally had to stop printing that because it was very expensive to do that on a quarterly basis and, and outside. And then comparing that to the cost of doing it uh, internally with the, uh, with the RISO HC, we found out that the HC was much more economical and allows us not only to produce a good quality newsletter on a quarterly basis, but do it at about half the cost that we would have if we had to do it in an outside printer. Percentage of colored documents that we print now is much higher because we have the capabilities of doing that. Not everybody had a colored inkjet on their desk before. Well, now they have access to the HC because it is networked, and they can now produce colored documents uh, where before they could not, didn't have that option to produce colored documents. I'm seeing a lot more high-quality, good-looking <laughs> colored documents that are coming out of my, of my employees where before they weren't. So I think the employees are starting to see where, you know, I could use color for this and make it look a lot better than just sending out something black and white. It just looks better. It, it, it looks like a, a higher quality organization when you can do things like that. And it has a greater impact. And being able to go to a potential donor and not only tell the story of what we do here and the importance of what we do here, but being able to show them a document that, I mean, it's not just black text on white paper. You know, it's got a little, got a little snap to it, a little pizzazz to it, a little color. Our reader survey forms, which we used to hand out and still hand out, now has color, and we are seeing a greater return on those. I have had a lot of good comments from my employees that have used the HC. Uh, they're very excited about the opportunity to do color documents as opposed to black and white. Uh, they're all starting to produce much higher quality, better looking, more impressive types of documentation than they did previously. So it is really, I think it will really impact our business uh, on the bottom line. We send out a lot of letters, obviously, for solicitation of funds. Well, if I was going to produce this in an outside printer, I would have to send them a form letter and have them produce a thousand copies. What this gives me the advantage to do is to take that letter, first of all, personalize it if I need to, and make one copy. Same quality as I get uh, from an outside printer. Or if I need five copies, as opposed to a thousand copies. Uh, or if my development director gets this hot lead and he wants to respond very quickly, he doesn't have to send it to a printer and give them a week long lead time. He can simply send the document to the RISO HC and print it out right then. Uh, and where before, to get a good price from an outside printer, I may need 1,000, 2,000 copies. Well, if I send one to the HC, if I send 500 to the HC, or if I send 5,000 to the HC, the cost is the same. And with the HC being able to produce 100 plus copies like that, full color, a minute or 70 copies duplex per minute, it doesn't take that long to run 5,000, if I need 5,000. If I only need one, I can do one. I haven't had a RISO in-house now for about six years, RISO machine. One thing I have learned that, that I can count on is the resource support from the organization itself. Of course, I knew this previously when I was working at church. That's where I first ran across RISOs and, and knew they worked well and that there was ever a problem, you could get pretty fast response. When I came here, I found the same to be true. Also, one of the reasons I decided to go to, to upgrade to the HC was the fact that I knew I could count on a quick response time as far as any problems we had. One of the documents I kept sending, we kept getting a, a 
an error on the machine, which I couldn't figure out how to solve. Well, it took one simple phone call, and within that day, actually, we had a solution. So we've gotten great support from not only from the sales staff, but also from the technical support staff from RESO as well. And that's very important because obviously, of all the advantages I've talked about using the HC, it does me no good if it doesn't run. And so it's important to have that kind of support. And that's one thing that I've always been very pleased with, with RESO is their quick response, both through the salesman coming by, if need be, or technicians coming by and fixing it uh, with a very short notice. And that's impressive to me to have a corporation that size that would take that kind of interest in, in just a single customer. Looking at the capabilities that the RESO HC has and the documents that it can produce, I can honestly say not only am I very pleased with it uh, and what's, what we are able to do with it, and I'm excited about the potential of being able to do even more, but I could also highly recommend it to anybody who needs a high quality, high volume color document that can produce very economically. Uh, for any business type application. I think it's, it's a great machine and it really does a super job and I would highly recommend it to anyone that has that kind of application.